All right, let's get the latest now on this situation in Easter River, and that's where we find our reporter, Nasipi Same, who has been live there since early morning. Nasipi, uh, you have essentially alerted other news media. I see colleagues uh, behind you. The opposition in the Western Cape, in the form of the ANC, has also been talking. But what about city authorities? What are they saying about that situation? Well, Goli, I, I can say to you that I did reach out to um, authorities from the city of Cape Town who we made aware that uh, there will be engineers coming out to assess the damage that the rain or the heavy downpours caused overnight. Um, but, um, you know, seeing the visuals, I'm sure everybody has seen the visuals, that this is a tragedy waiting to happen, crossing, using a barricade from one end of the road to another to make their way to and from work. And some pupils, you know, uh, uh, putting their lives at risk just to cross this, 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 this road uh, because they have exams. But I'm joined here by a gentleman, actually, that just made his way across this road using that barricade over there. But one... Talk to us about how you're feeling immediately as you are making your way across that uh, barricade. Yes, so I'm going to get a cool gun figure off and I'm going to figure out how to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And I'm going to get a cool gun figure off. And then, Buti, did you know that uh, this road has collapsed? I mean, you said that earlier on um, you made use of this road yesterday, but now you wake up to this. Yeah. And then put you back home, Glenda Usala Guyo, in Chani, in Vula, in Moshe Ganshan. Is in the Suama Macho, the Bonga Band to take up, Macho, the Band Bas, Abana Band of Bamufi, the Bayagos in Dow. And then this is a two for Bubegu Bomba kept in the Pego and Niganja, well, if it were we had. Okay, in the Buella Elgin was in sitting so I'm seven in the nine in the low well. So I'm Nancy the Lemfusan and the Bona and the Amber. As Bansi so we named your two and was in the laugh and wonder here now we am. I'm in Pefa Bill, I'm born on a band of a well against him. I'm well against him in Pega Fabia. Okay, but that is one of the gentlemen, um, one of the many gentlemen, including pupils that crossed using this barricade as this road that we're standing on, which is Spine Road in Easter River, Koli has collapsed and as I said we have indicated that we have spoken to officials from the city of Cape Town who indicated that there are traffic officials here to divert traffic but as we hear from the gentleman here he was not stopped um, uh, when he made his way here even though the road has collapsed and earlier on Goli, you saw the school pupils making their way through here and one gentleman helping the school children to cross as they wanted to make their way to the various schools. As we know that many of the schools are writing their assessments and examinations. But Polly, um, what we do know is that this particular river is called the Kales River, and we are in East River, and this road that has been damaged is Spine Road. But I'm also joined here by Ukanya, who is a resident who lives not too far from where the damage was caused. Kanya, thank you so much for your time. But we're also looking at the patch on the road. Last year after heavy rains, a portion of this road also collapsed. Talk to us about how rain affects this community, particularly this road that many people use. Um, um, the flooding gets very, very bad, especially during the rainy season. Um, and because the ecosystem of our area is mainly wetland and marshland, 
we know that eventually the water is going to rise and come into our yards. First and foremost, it happened last year when a portion of the road was knocked off. And to me, it seems a bit of lacking in terms of city planning by the city. Why would you build a road over sand next to a wetland and a marshland, knowing the consequences of that? So clearly, we are not people that are cared for. Talking about not being cared for, you obviously saw the school children crossing the road. We do know that it's exam time. The traffic officials are also standing here and watching the people cross. What do you make out of that? First and foremost, I feel as if it's complete neglect um, for us especially. We're a very, very small community here, probably less than 10 houses. And every morning we see people coming up and down here. It's not safe here, first and foremost in the mornings. We have no street lights for this area, and it gets very, very dark here during winter. So first and foremost, that has never been addressed. Let's start there. Secondly, for traffic officers to not stop children from crossing the barricade in the first place is just a lack of care by city officials and by the traffic department at large. So I feel as if my, you having to think that I have a younger sister or siblings that maybe that's heartbreaking for me. Thank you so much, Kanya there, who's a resident that lives just steps away from where the devastation occurred. The road, or rather the, 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 the damage that was caused by rain last year, I'll just ask my colleague, Utabo, to show you that this is the patch. I'm not sure if you're able to see, but this patch right here is the one that she's talking about. And it did take quite some time in order for officials to get this road fully open and attend to this matter. And now looking at this devastation behind us, Koli, you can imagine and how long that's going to take. Kanya here raising the issue of why would officials not put in proper infrastructure when they're building a road in a wetland surrounded by marsh and a river and not put proper reinforcement is something that uh, boggles her. Asipisane, thank you very much for highlighting all of these uh, issues at uh, the Easter River in the Western Cape, a very worrying situation indeed.